Yo, what's good, y'all? Today I want to talk about a different topic. I want to talk about this new Bleach game, Rebirth of Souls. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm pretty disappointed. As y'all know, I am a fighting game player. I play Mortal Kombat, dabble a little bit in Tekken, stuff like that. And um, yeah, y'all, I'm just really disappointed in this new Bleach game. It looks like it's just another arena fighter. As y'all know, the Naruto IP has been tied to just rehashed arena fighter over and over and over. And then they did that with Demon Slayer. They just did that with Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you uh, if you actually do some Googling, the Jujutsu Kaisen game, it did awful. Like, the sales were terrible. Day one on Twitch, it had, like, Mortal Kombat 11 views, current Mortal Kombat 11 or 1 views. Like, it did horrible, like, day one. Um, so I was thinking, like, okay, one of these arena games finally did awful. Maybe they'll finally try to put more work into it and make it, like, a real deal fighting game like Dragon Ball Fighters. And, uh, sadly, you know, after... It's been a couple console generations since a Bleach game, I believe. Since, like, obviously Jump Force was a thing, I guess, but... The last, like, real Bleach game was, like, PS3, I think? And, uh, yeah, I was just looking forward to, like... Maybe there would be a real Bleach fighting game that brings the FGC together, like Dragon Ball Fighters did. That maybe has good netcode, because that was my... That was my hang-up with Dragon Ball Fighters is I'm a Mortal Kombat and Justice player... And we got good netcode around 2016. Dragon Ball Fighters came out 2018. And whenever I played the beta for it, it had like the worst netcode I've ever played. Um, I guess it did get better over time. But yeah, it was awful. And so I didn't play it too much. But dude, I grew up on Toonami. I loved Dragon Ball, Bleach, Naruto, Yu Hakusho, stuff like that. And, you know, if they released a fighting game based on one of these like shonens I grew up on but made it, like, have good netcode and, like, get either gameplay similar to Fighter Z or... It doesn't have to be like Fighter Z. It can be one-on-one. -on -one. It could be whatever. Because I know a lot of people don't like the team thing. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, they skipped out on Dragon Ball Fighter Z because it was a team thing. They A lot of people don't like MK1 because of cameos. And, yeah, I would agree, like, because of how Bleach is in the show and stuff, like, yeah, just keep it 1v1, I would say. But... Make it like a real deal fighting game with a ton of like nuance and depth and like cool combo strategy and maybe like a little story mode, lobbies, things like that. And it would be awesome. Like I feel like the game would be giant. It would sell like crazy. The DLC would sell like crazy. If y'all are Bleach fans like me, you know that Bleach has like an endless cast. Like they can make like the main cast, the like main roster, and then some captains. And then, like, maybe a couple of, like, the Espada. Maybe, like, um, a couple Sturm Ritters. But then they could, like, have, like, half the Espada, half the Sturm Ritters. A couple of the Captains be DLC. You know what I mean? Like, they could have, like, Ichigo's dad be DLC down the line. And, like, Bleach Combat Pack 4. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could do something like that. It would just be amazing. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm such a fan of Bleach that I could probably get 60 to $70 of enjoyment out of this little arena fighter, right? Just the idea that I can play Bakia and use, or Byakia and use, like, his, um, his Bankai. The idea that I can maybe use, like, Ukiora, and is that how you say his name? And use, like, all his forms. Is he even in the game? Um, and that's another thing. I heard it's only going to, like, a certain part in the steer series. <laughs> series? What? <laughs> We're steering. <laughs> but, um... I heard it's only going to a certain part in the series. So we're not going to be able to use like the Stern Ritters or anything like that. So that, that's pretty lame. Those are like some of the cooler characters. But I'm sure the cast will still be cool. And again, like I'm such a fan of Bleach that I could get like $60, $70 plus tax of enjoyment out of it. But man, like it could just be like such a huge like global game um, if it were like a real fighting game, you know? And I feel like it could... Like, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, people still play it, still compete in it, still get hyped about it today. Despite it being held back by bad netcode and, like, a weird rollback release and stuff like that. Like, if we got, like, a real deal Bleach game, real deal Naruto game, and they were, like, real fighting games with good netcode, like, I feel like the sky would be the limit, you know? So, I don't know. It's just real disappointment for me. Um, let me know how y'all feel about it. Um... I'm super disappointed. I'm sure some of y'all will be like, no, I love Arena Fighters. 
I love playing all the Naruto Storm games. I loved, you know, Jutsu Kaisen, Curse of the Clash, and uh, Demon Slayer, whatever it was called, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they're so, like, watered down compared to, like, regular fighting games, and also they're so, like, overdone. Like, whenever there was, like, a little, like, shitty fighter like that on PS2 for Naruto, it was cool. It's because, like, oh, we get to play all these characters. Same reason I might be able to get enjoyment out of the Bleach game is oh, I get to play these characters I love in this show, in this manga. But, you know, that wears off after a while, and it's it gets to the point to where it's like, why can't we get this, but with, like, Street Fighter gameplay or Marvel vs. Capcom gameplay or, you know, I know y'all hate NRS, but, you know, like, NRS-style gameplay. Why can't we get, like, real deal fighting game gameplay out of a Bleach game, out of a Naruto game? It would just... I feel like it would be, it could be like one of the biggest fighting games and it would bring the whole FGC together because so many people are just like me in the FGC and just in general that grew up on Toonami, grew up on anime, manga, stuff like that. And Bleach, if you're like, you know, like 20 to 35 years old and you grew up on anime or manga, Bleach is like one of those main series that was there that was awesome, that had so many cool characters, so many cool stories. Um, so this is just really disappointing to me. And I just, I almost feel like I shouldn't buy this game because with the Jujutsu Kaisen game, it sold really badly, right? So I'm thinking if this, this Bleach game sells really badly, maybe two in a row, that will make them be like, oh man, maybe we got to stop with these like bullshit arena fighters. Maybe we actually got to make a real deal game for once with these anime IPs, you know, like we did with Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball definitely sold really well. And I feel like for this reason, we should really support that Hunter Hunter game coming out. This seems to be like a real fighting game. It's got like Marvel vs. Capcom style gameplay. Now, I never played one of the Marvel vs. Capcoms. I came into the FGC with MKX. And I, um, yeah, I was just never really into like Marvel and uh, Capcom like that outside of like Resident Evil. So um, I didn't play like those games. But I feel like I should support the Hunter Hunter game just so, you know, it's kind of a message. Uh, to Bandai and to these other publishers and developers that you know, we don't we don't want Naruto Ninja Storm. We don't want Bleach Shinigami Storm. We want some real deal stuff that you know we can eat on for years and you know play competitively and feel like we're really like playing like a meaningful game here. I mean, there's just like I feel like with these arena fighters, there's like you get that like appeal right away of oh, I'm playing these characters, I love these characters I like. But then I feel like there's, like, some emptiness, you know? I feel like there's some emptiness to it after that. And you might be like, oh, Tweety, but everyone's getting hyped for, like, Sparking Zero, stuff like that. But with Sparking Zero, I kind of get it, right? Because Sparking Zero, it's it was the original, right? The Budokai games, they were, like, the original kind of, like, arena style fighter. And there's a lot more to them, you know what I mean? With, like, the flying around and all that. They just It just feels a lot more well thought out. These, like, arena fighters that they dropped for, like, Naruto, um, Demon Slayer, Jutsu Kaisen, now Bleach, they just feel like literally, like, lazy cash-ins to me. That's what they feel like. Uh, let me know if you disagree or not in the comments down below. Let me know if this take is super bad, if it's super off. And, um, yeah, y'all, um, much love. Hope everyone's having a great day. I, I almost want to get the game just because, like, I'm looking at this trailer and... I'm seeing characters I want to play, and I know there's going to be a lot of characters. Even though they don't go, like, supposedly they're not going deep into the series, there's going to be a lot of characters that I want to play that I want to just mess around with, even if the game kind of sucks. You know, like, all the captains and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't support it, though. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know how y'all feel. Let me know if you think I'm super off or whatever. And, uh, yeah, later, y'all. Much love.